My name is Sarah Quinn and I'm an Irish international sprint hurdler. I started out running a kind of traditional route um, with a lot of people in Ireland. I did community games as a child and then I worked my way up and joined a club when I was about 11 or 12. And I kept going through, through the ranks as a juvenile and now I'm part of Venue GAC um, in Galway. So I'm a college athlete. So lockdown has definitely put a, put a lot of things into perspective. Um, I appreciate competitions a lot more now. Um, I, I'll never take another competition for granted again. But um, it's definitely made me hungrier to work towards my goals and seize the opportunity of any, anything that comes my way now in the future. For winter training, I definitely wear an awful lot more layers. As a sprinter, you definitely don't want to go pulling a hamstring or anything, so keeping warm is absolutely key. So I wear a lot of thin, flexible layers as opposed to one big puffer jacket. So as I warm up then, if I feel warm, I'll take off one layer and basically like an onion. <laughs> then for my footwear, uh, this time of year, we'd be training on a mixture of grass, track and Macadam, so I have to make sure that I have runners that are going to give, give me a good energy return. It's hard to find the motivation sometimes in the dark mornings, but um, the goal is there. That's what I think of. It's what gets me up, it's what gets me out. Um, and just wanted to be ready for the start line in January. The most important piece of advice I ever received was um, to trust in the process. There's a lot of ups and downs, especially as an individual athlete. You don't have a um, kind of wider team to lean on sometimes, but yeah, definitely trusting in the process and putting in the work and believing that what you're trying to achieve is going to happen. And my other piece of advice that I <laughs> have received that always kind of stuck with me was my granddad told me once to uh, eat steak and be strong. So I think I'll, I'll carry that forward. <laughs> So my advice to other athletes is just be flexible. Everything is written in pencil for the next couple of months, maybe a year. You know, you have to you have to be flexible if we're going into another lockdown. You know, if the competitions are going to go ahead, whatever comes your way, you need to be able to roll with it. My most memorable moment is definitely uh, putting on the Irish vest for the first time at the Under 23 European Championships. I said a new personal vest and my mom was there to see me at the time as well. So it was a really, really special day for me and um, I hope I can have more days like that in the future.